I obviously the chicken know when it starts to supposed to start picking his land on the eggshell. It's uncomfortable. It's getting too big for the shell, but it's also hungry. a noxious gas oh. fills the inside of the shell. It is literally dying to be born. It will stay there and die. If it stays there, it will die. And that is where we are as a human species. Where when we were children and we were taught evolution, we were taught that a species would evolve to the point where its behavior, it demonstrated behavior, no longer well adapted for the survival of the species. And then a, a, a mutation would occur, and while the mutation does not represent the majority of the species, the descendants of the mutation would move the species into another direction, or the species would end. And that is exactly where we are as a human race. We are not adapted for human survival much longer because we fight too much. And I, I know that probably you, I certainly have heard people say, oh, come on, there have always been wars. Ladies and gentlemen, we must categorically reject the concept that this is not all that different because there have always been wars. There were never wars with, as one of the panelists said today, with the capacity to destroy human life on this planet hundreds of times over. This particular moment with nuclear proliferation, chemical warfare, etc., this moment has never occurred before. So what does it mean? What does it mean to say, I mean, we're good people in this room. We've already established that basically, you know, the majority of people on this planet are good people. So what does that mean? If, we're, if the majority of people on the planet are basically good people, I believe that. We all believe that. We're basically good people. So if that's true, how is it that we got to this place? Well, from a spiritual perspective, it means history saying, good is not good enough. Good, and you're going to go down. Good, and you're going to go down. Now, what happened to our generation? is that we got to good and thought we could cruise from there. We got to good and we thought we could cruise from there. We came to medicine, we had the illusion that there were institutional buffers from horror. Hmm. We, we were under the illusion that if the diseases got too bad, the medical community could fix it. If anything, if, if economic situation got too bad, world economic institutions could fix it. If warfare, things got too bad, the military could fix it or governments could fix it. We were under the illusion that there were institutional identities that could stave off the ultimate disasters. And it said in the Course of Miracles, I always love this, it says, look at the word disillusionment. Yes, on one hand, we're all disillusioned. Disillusionment is a good thing. It was an illusion to begin with. It was an illusion. So, what does that mean? What that means is that when you're good, you don't think you need to get great. Because they'll handle it. But when you get to the point of realizing, I don't think so. <laughs> Their cards are played. Then, you realize that we as individuals must make that shift. And in everybody's life, it's something different. And if you don't know what it is in your life, your best friends can probably tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Most people in this room know exactly what it is that represents the gap in each and every one of us from my being good to my being great. From my being good to my being great. And then, just this during, I remember I was a, very much an AIDS activist in my country. Back in the 1980s, I was living in Los Angeles. And when people started having spiritual support groups, uh, psycholo addressing psychological and emotional and spiritual issues as they pertain to healing, the Western allopathic medical community treated us with disdain, very arrogant, very patronizing, very marginalizing of any of this kind of work. I was there, I saw it. And I saw the change that occurred when medical, Western medical doctor after Western medical doctor stood at the bedside of a man or woman dying of AIDS, I saw the arrogance melt away. I saw humility emerge. I saw the look of fear and sadness in the eyes of doctor after doctor after doctor who basically said to people such as myself, we've played all our cards. What do you got? <laughs> 